Well done. Howdy, 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 howdy. Haven't started a video game Red Dead session with howdy, howdy in a while, so get back to it, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Tetra Ninja. We're once again back playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. So, continuing on with main missions, as shocking as that may sound with you guys. <laughs> Sometimes I get distracted. I I treated myself to a little bit of time in the city. Got a nice warm meal, some new clothing, got a fresh shave, all that kind of stuff. Bought a new tie, as you can see. And yeah, we are restored, ready to go, and continue on yep. by talking to Sadie. I think we're rescuing John right now. Bought a new handgun. The thing is, Sadie, I really can't... I must come, he's my husband. I'm... I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. I kind of don't like right. how... Here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Yeah. How many times, Marston? Ooh, the fast travel. I kind of really don't like how... I respect the pre okay, story. Bring us over. With the prequel, but... The fact that, like... I kind of know what's supposed to happen in the future. It does take away from the story a tiny bit. I've said that already in the past, we but... We know that John can't die. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Right? Stay low. There's a fire up there. I'll deal with him. Okay. I'll follow you up. Okay, I can't shoot the guard, obviously. Also kind of, we're kind of like bonding with all these people. And then in like Red Dead 2, we just like kind of like nonchalantly to quickly murder them. So, I don't feel like it's not... If you were going to replay Red Dead 2 right now, or Red Dead OG right now, you'd be kind of like, okay. you know... Well, I wish that scene played out a little bit better. Stuff like that. Ooh, a new gun. What is this? It's not new. Where's John? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out and let's go get our boy. Okay. Too. Move over, will you? Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. Ah, shit. What do you mean it wasn't John? Maybe we should have got a little bit closer first. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, yeah. Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. 
You put the gun down. Now! Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Put the gun down. Man, this is Come like the worst plan ever. Man. Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Eston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Kinda... look like shit, basically. The TB is really oh, taking its toll. Please. So... You a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. How much will they care about your life? You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Stay down! Get oh that pistol whip. Okay, fam, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! I'm oh, sorry, but if I was. Jameson! A... I'd just shoot. Is Jameson in? He's in cell, Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. No. Uh, Milliken, <laughs> is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, something? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now hurry up! 18, well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, oh, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Oh! <laughs> Oh, you want to actually shoot this out? My hat! My beautiful hat! You bastards! My cans! My precious cans! Dude, we cannot move here. We are getting blasted. How you guys even could think you can move? Dude, there is lady. There is no room to move. And okay, now there's room to move. My hat! No, I gotta leave it. I gotta leave it. Ow. Here comes some more. Get down. Been a while, John. You're telling me. 
What took you so long? I'll explain later. Is that you with the balloon? Yeah. Believe me, that was my one and only time flying. I think we could have brought some sort of escape vehicle or something. Look out on the ladder! Coming from the board! Bitches. Why don't we? Oh my god, what am I doing? Why don't we steal a horse and get on top of it? I don't understand. Jamie, get down! Lady, I cannot step out of here at this moment. There are 20 guys on our assholes. Okay, now I can move. Yeah, you see these bullets hitting me? Coming here, don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them. It can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. I'm gonna watch these rock. Where the hell did you come from? Sniper. Oh, I shot that guy in the dick. <laughs> you know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. <sighs> Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur, he was like, like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny oh. too. No, what a goddamn mess. And did we, what about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What, how the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat, it's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me? We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, 
seems... Said it wasn't the right time, so might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Guess not. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus, for the fast travel. The game's getting good at that. Just get us to the destination. John really needs to cut his hair though. That thing looks greasy. You brought him back to me. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. That's not the hat I was wearing. Arthur! Arthur! Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. I guess I can wear this hat. I can rock this hat until I lose it. Uh, where is... The ledger? Is there no ledger? Okay. Well then. Let's go to Herr Strauss. Money. More debt collecting. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. Are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Huh? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I, uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. 
They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called, well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your figure. Figure, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's good that I can see it on the map. That way, if I roll past it, at least I can know I can pick it up. Wow, all of Annisburg is this entire wanted dead or alive. That's freaking fantastic. Okay. I'm gonna go get this money now. That way I can go all at once and pay it all at once. I'm gonna, it looks like I'm heading into Annisburg anyways. So I'll do a bunch of stuff while I'm there. Sadie, don't make me run you over. Yeah, what happened to the camp ledger? I am gonna run into a tree. <laughs> Beginning of new episode. Running into trees is almost a standard now. Almost a requirement, actually. Anytime I start a new recording session. Hard left. These hard lefts are making me yeah. uncomfortable. Doggy. Bastard. Hey. Hollywood signs, OG. Save your ass, don't even reward me. this guy Question mark. I'll hit that question mark in a second. Once I get my money. Yeah. Oh no. Any... Probably by the cart.
J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. OK. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here. It's him. It's too late. Form up. We shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'll, I'll do what I can for you. One. You got long limbs, you son of a bitch. What'd you say to me, boy? Oh my god. Oh, why did I leap? Why did I leave? My guns. Oh, my wagon. You're a dead man. It's all right, my darling. You can come out. Probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing about counters. I'll just pay it out of my own money. Of course, I am never, ever gonna get off you again without picking up a weapon. Yep. Like, why? Why does it always deselect? Hey! You there? Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, OK. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. I see you. Should I rub some of that scentless lotion all over my body? For science. There he is. I 
gotcha. How easy there. Shit, spooked all right. Stop it. Now that, now that's enough now. Come on. It's okay, boy. Easy there. Easy. You're okay. This way. Come on. Yeah, I had to go. Well, come on, then. Let's get you back. I had to go empty-handed and lead him, uh, pat him a couple times. This horse was. This horse is massive. Yeah. He's just where you left. Him. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You better be good. You hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how. Big and strong you are. That is a really big horse. Yeah, I spent a long time just trying to keep hitting the word, keep hitting calm with the noose wrapped around his neck. That didn't work. Buell is also very well endowed. <laughs> I noticed it when I was trying to tame him. Dang. Put you out to stud. Don't be jealous. Phobos. We ain't far now. None gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. I hope he's not dead. I really hope he's not dead. I found him. He's not dead. Thank God. You're a good man, Mr. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Or <sighs> but a snake that spooked him. <clears throat> You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt. Fish! Enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Well, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great, so between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of a craze run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Fishing? About to die from tuberculosis. Ain't got time to fish. Should I go try to find this bear? I'm gonna go kill this bear. Yeah, let's do that. This is the bear that we encountered at the very beginning of the game. I kind of just gave up hunting him because he was in the first episode of the series and I kind of wanted to keep playing and progressing on for you guys. But now we're like 40 hours into-ish now. I think we'll be okay. Let me just make sure I have my proper guns here.